is JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Dean Perrine, and welcome to JSA TV. With us today, we have Mr. Edward Kennedy. Edward is the newly appointed president and CEO of CNEX. Edward, welcome to JSA TV. Good morning, Dean. Thanks for having me. You bet, you bet. So let's just jump right in. I started to tease the, what we're going to talk about a little bit already. You are a newly appointed president and CEO of CNEX, um, but previously you served on the board of directors. Um, what part of that involvement kind of inspired you to transition ultimately to the president and CEO? Well, I was on the board of CNEX uh, for about the last uh, eight, nine months, and I headed up the operating committee, which allowed me to get an insight into the business. And in working with the team and looking at the opportunity, uh, it was very exciting, uh, not only for the company, but for me personally. And when the chairman who asked me to, to look at the role, uh, <clears throat> and after he did so, I, I was more than, more than happy to uh, jump into the seat. Well, uh, thank you very much for that. So um, interestingly enough, you jumped right into that seat and right into a major rebrand. Um, why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about that rebrand and why it's important to the company? Well, the rebrand was done mainly to, you know, uh, the, the, the market is evolving very, very quickly. And as a leader in the market, we have to evolve with that. And one of the things that's happening now is that we are, you know, uh, in some of the major carriers globally. and they need to understand how we're evolving our product as well as they're evolving their network. So that rebrand helps them understand how we're keeping up and leading the market. So it was pretty exciting and, uh, you know, some of the, the new uh, look and feel is always good to, uh, you know, energize the employee base as well. Excellent. So it's really about the future. So um, um, good, good, good news there. Um, so, but let's keep talking about the future a little bit. Um, specifically, how about the next 90 days? As the newly appointed CEO, what are your priorities really over the next 90 days? Well, the, the first 90 days are always very challenging as a new CEO. Uh, the number one thing is to, to um, <clears throat> come in with the, uh, with the organization and make sure that, you know, we're, you know, we're, operating functionally correctly and, you know, we're, we're you know, organized for growth. Uh, I'll be visiting a lot of customers. Uh, we are uh, very, very active, as you can imagine, you know, on a global basis. We have teams right now in Europe. Uh, in fact, it was interesting, you know, we were on conference calls early in the morning with our European counterparts and late at night with some of our West Coast counterparts. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's a 24-hour, you know, cycle here. Um, the other thing we'll be doing is, is uh, we'll be making some announcements about, you know, future uh, products and, and some of the new things that we're coming out with. So it's a very exciting time here at Scenix. It sounds like it. It sounds like it. But let's go a little further. Let's uh, get out the crystal ball and really look into the future. You know, where do you see Scenix in, say, the next year or maybe even two years? Well, it's interesting. You know, we're, you know I, I look at it like we're part of a revolution right now, that the carriers and the networks are having this, this major revolution. And we've had a few of these in the past when it went from analog to digital, when it went from wireline to wireless, and when it went from, you know, the TDM to IP. And, and what we've seen now is just an explosion in data, new architectures in the cloud and, and uh, virtualization where carriers can now get their costs way down. But the old... Uh, way of doing things is no longer applicable into this new new world, and that's where we're leading. And the carriers are relying on us to be able to visualize and to and to, to manage their networks on a global basis. You know, it's interesting. Over the uh, at the Super Bowl uh, a few months ago, there was 11.8 terabytes of information generated during that show, during that that game, and and that is a huge influx of data into the network. And how do you process that? How do you manage that? How do they keep track of all that? That's stuff that we can help them with. And as carriers are trying to be relevant going forward into the new paradigm with cloud computing and, and distributed architectures, their networks have to change. And they have to change quickly and they have to change efficiently. And that's what we're leading them and helping them do on a global basis. So it's, it's a very exciting time. Uh, you know, this is we're on our third generation of technology here, so we've got a pretty good market lead. We're probably one to two spins, technology spins ahead of our competitors. Uh, we, we will maintain that, that lead. 
uh, we've got insights into some of the new opportunities and, and migrating into you know more sophisticated uh, paradigms that, that people aren't addressing today that we'll be addressing. So there's pretty exciting things going on. Uh, we have a very you know, supportive board. We have a very energized uh, workforce, uh, and everyone's pretty excited about, you know, getting down to uh, being successful. Outstanding, Edward. Um, it sounds like some uh, big things for you and for CNEX in the future. Um, thank you very much for being with us today on JSA TV. We truly appreciate that, and thank you viewers for watching JSA TV. We'll see you soon. Thank you.